Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our today's class. How are you students? I hope you all are very well. I am also very well students. In previous class, we have discussed about the economic system. And uh, we have learned about the capitalistic economic system, social economic system and mixed economic system. Do you remember it? Do you tell me what is the main character of capitalistic economic system? Yes, the main character characteristics of capitalistic economic system is the earning maximum profit. And do you tell me the main characteristics of socialistic economic system? Yes. The main characteristics of socialistic economic system is the attain, attaining the highest welfare of the people. And in which economic system these uh, two economic systems are mixing, that is called the mixed economic system. Today we will uh, learn about another economic system that is called Islamic economic system. Do you have any idea about the Islamic economic system? And today we will know about the economic system in Bangladesh. That means which economic system is prevailing in our country. From the name of the Islamic economic system, we are imagining about this system. We know uh, Islam is the complete code of life and all the instructions of the living of human being are uh, given in the Islam. And uh, we get all the instruction of our uh, living from the Holy Quran and the Hadiths. And the main basis of the Islamic economic system is the Holy Quran and Hadiths. And the main characteristics of Islamic economic system is the first character is the ownership of asset. In, in Islamic system, the ownership of assets is uh, running privately. Here, uh, any person uh, who are the uh, owner of the any asset, he run their uh, company or he uh, run their he run his uh, any uh, production uh, by privately and, uh, he, and his uh, asset uh, he divide into his or her heritages, inheritances. Other uh, characteristic is the economic function. All of the economic functions of the Islamic economic system is running uh, through the Islamic Sharia and the main basis is the Holy Quran and the Hadith and the instruction of the Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After that, uh, the production system. The production system of the economic system is uh, very pure and uh, here uh, the halal thing is the main thing. Any of the halal or pure uh, production is the is uh, here uh, is uh, uh, not pro 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 prohibited but the any haram thing haram thing is haram things production is prohibited in islamic economic system and the uh, remuneration of factors remuneration means the fees or wages of the production factors we know our uh, production factors we know four factors. The factors are land, labor, capital and organization. And their wages or remuner uh, remunerations are the uh, land's remuneration are the rent, the um, labor's remuneration are the wages, the capital's remuneration are the in interest and the organization's remuneration are the profit. And in Islamic economic system, these all are distributed properly. 
if uh, here the distribution is not uh, occur properly that is uh, not the uh, um, rules of the islamic economic system uh, income distribution uh, the remuneration of factors and the income distribution are uh, mostly same uh, here uh, is also income means the wages of the uh, factors of production and uh, we already discussed the remuneration or the fees or the wages are properly distributed and economic system and it is the uh, uh, and maintaining uh, properly in the system in islamic economic system another thing is the jakar when the ownership of asset uh, the the owner is the uh, owner of many things or uh, he or she uh, many uh, he or she gain the many asset and the long time he uh, preserve it that time uh, some portion of the their asset they give to the poor people that is called uh, jakat and uh, this is compulsory for the uh, rich people to the uh, poor people if anyone uh, anyone not give the jakat that is uh, not the system of the economic system and uh, that is, uh, and uh, she or he will be punished for it when the equal uh, distribution is uh, occurred in any country that is called islamic economic country like uh, saudi arabia in saudi arabia islamic economic uh, economic system is prevailed but uh, which type of economic system is prevailing in our country do you, uh, tell me uh, uh, in our from our discussion of what uh, you are what are you thinking? Uh, what kind of uh, economic system are prevailing in our country? Uh, I, if, uh, I know uh, you think uh, in, it is mixed economic system or capitalist economic system. Uh, let's know about it. And uh, from uh, the ancient period, what is the condition of the, our uh, economic system? From the uh, ancient period and in Muslim period, and till then, uh, the British period, the, our economic system was feudal system. Feudal means that is called uh, Jamindar system. Uh, here, uh, some Jamindar uh, was uh, the owner of any state or uh, region, and uh, all peoples are uh, works under them. That is called Jamindar system. And, and the general people are not the owner of any uh, land or any product. They uh, only uh, worker of uh, worker under the Jamindars. Uh, after the British period, in Pakistan period, uh, we uh, come into the capitalistic economic system. That is the uh, private ownership uh, in the uh, economic system. But uh, with the capitalistic economic system, we uh, have in some region the Jamindar economic system. After that, uh, in 1971, uh, when uh, the Bangladesh was born, uh, we will uh, we have uh, tried it to the uh, we have tried to uh, made our economic system like socialistic economic system, and uh, it was the our main aim was the welfare of the people, and uh, fr from and um, from the. From the beginning of the Bangladeshi economic system, our government tried to uh, develop our economic system uh, like a socialistic economic system and they uh, take some attempt for, for it. But uh, we was the uh, world uh, region country and our economy was totally broken. And that time we uh, cannot, uh, we cannot run in, uh, we cannot run our uh, economy smoothly uh, only by the government. Our government has uh, no many uh, asset uh, to um, uh, make our uh, state or our country a socialistic economic system. 
that's why uh, our uh, many uh, nationalist uh, company are uh, face uh, many laws and uh, our government uh, give our uh, many ownership of the company in private sector and when the private sector is starting uh, that uh, many uh, private sector are come to uh, produce many uh, company and many uh, goods and that time uh, a free market economy is established uh, for uh, many private company are uh, prevailing in a sector a free market company is uh, established normally uh, after the uh, free market companies, uh, when the free market companies establish, uh, their uh, um, their aim or they are uh, uh, they attaining the most and the highest uh, maximum profit from their goods and from their production and. Uh, Day by day, they uh, they go to the um, capitalistic economic system. And at present, our uh, condition is uh, like the capitalistic economic system because uh, we are attaining, we try to attain uh, uh, maximum profit, and uh, we are not attained to the welfare of the people. Uh, that is why we are called capitalistic economic system. But uh, somewhere we have the socialistic economic system because uh, our government has uh, also some um, ownership and uh, we are a uh, mixed economic system. But maximum time we are the capitalistic economic system. Students, <coughs> that is all about the economic system. And uh, I hope you all are the understand these four types of economic system. And... Uh, which uh, system is uh, uh, our uh, economic system and uh, our economic system is mostly capitalistic economic system and uh, one uh, question to you uh, in our country which economic system is uh, will uh, better for our country uh, it, uh, you think what do you think about the our country which economic system is most better Thank you very much, students.